Uh, hello everyone, I'm Kai Wang from Funan University. Here I present our study titled Exploring Unconfirmed Transactions for Effective Bitcoin Address Clustering. In Bitcoin, users can generate an unlimited number of new addresses without revealing their real identities. The pseudo anonymous ecosystem of Bitcoin uh, has attracted uh, an increasing number of users, including criminals who use Bitcoin to transfer illicit funds. Uh, to deal with illegal activities, uh, a large number of studies have developed uh, Bitcoin address clustering heuristics to identify addresses belonging to the same user. Uh, these heuristics are generally categorized into two groups, uh, the correspondent heuristic and the change heuristic. The correspondent heuristic uh, considers that all input addresses all input addresses uh, belong to the same user. The change heuristic uh, is to design the uh, is to identify the uh, address used by the transaction sender to receive change. Uh, however, the SOTA clustering heuristics focus only on behavior patterns in confirmed transactions, uh, but ignore the additional information of unconfirmed transactions. <coughs> To the best of our knowledge, uh, we are the first to explore unconfirmed transactions for Bitcoin address clustering. Uh, our study makes several contributions. First, we introduce a novel data dimension unconfirmed transactions for the regulation of uh, Bitcoin. Second, we propose two novel clustering heuristics, uh, promoting the important issue in Bitcoin regulation, the anonymization. Uh, third, we present a method for constructing a labeled dataset uh, for validating clustering results. Then I will cover unconfirmed transactions. Unconfirmed transactions are stored in the memory pool before being confirmed and added to the blockchain. These unconfirmed transactions contain information about uh, transactions before being stored in the blockchain, covering additional address associations that can improve Bitcoin address clustering. Our unconfirmed transaction processor aims to collect as many unconfirmed, unconfirmed transactions as possible in Bitcoin. First, we modify the Bitcoin core to monitor and uh, record this transaction in real time. Uh, besides, we deploy multiply Bitcoin nodes to ensure the completeness of our collected data. It shows that we can uh, collect almost all unconfirmed transactions when deploying five Bitcoin nodes. Uh, then, uh, then we propose two clustering heuristics based on these unconfirmed transactions. The first heuristic is uh, replacement change. Uh, the, replace, the replace by fee um, allows a sender to replace their unconfirmed transactions. Uh, by initiating an, another transaction that pays a higher fee. So we designed the uh, replacement change heuristic to identify the change address based on several conditions. Uh, first, the replaceable field uh, is true. Transactions, transactions, uh, transactions spend the same UTXO uh, and the fees increase over time, and the amount received by the address de decrease over, the uh, over time. Uh, in this picture, uh, address three is the mm, change address. Uh, so address one and uh, address three belong to the same user. Uh, the second uh, heuristic uh, uh, dependency chain involves analyzing a sequence of unconfir unconfirmed transactions. Uh, where each tra each transaction each transaction uh, spends the output of uh, uh, spend the output of the previous one. Now, if the hash of a, a transaction appears in the uh, spend by or dependence fields of another, uh, they are likely controlled by the same entity. Uh, in this pic in, in this picture, uh, there are two uh, dependency chains. Uh, one consisting of TX1, TX2, and TX4. Another consisting of TX1, TX2, and TX5. Therefore, uh, address 0, 1, and 3 uh, belong to the same user. And uh, uh, address 0, 1, and 4 belong to the same user. 
uh, after merging, these four addresses belong to the same user. Uh, for our study, we compare our proposed heuristic against the zero uh, baselines. Uh, this includes the cost-bound heuristic and uh, five change heuristics. Uh, to address the lack of labeled datasets, we present a method for constructing a validation dataset based on uh, Bitcoin ordinal inscriptions. Uh, Bitcoin ordinal inscriptions are digital assets crea created by attaching information uh, to an individual satoshi, the smallest uh, dimension in Bitcoin. Creating a, sing creating a single ordinal inscription uh, must follow a two-phase uh, two uh, two procedure, uh, a commit transaction and a reveal transaction. Uh, th this labeling method involves uh, uh, collecting uh, inscription collections and uh, uh, identify their commit and uh, reveal transactions, and uh, ex uh, extracting input transaction input addresses of these transactions. Uh, then these uh, then these addresses are considered to be controlled by the same entity, providing a more reliable validation dataset. Uh, as a result, uh, we gather twenty collections and label over 60,000 addresses uh, as the validation data set. Uh, next, uh, we show the effectiveness of uh, our approach by answering four questions. Uh, the first question is the clustering result of our approach accurate. Uh, the validation results show that our uh, proposed clustering heuristic can uncover many uh, additional address associations that are beyond the scope of uh, uh, SOTA clustering heuristics. Uh, even in the cases of the smallest improvement, our heuristics still significantly improve recall with higher precision compared to SOTA clustering heuristics. Uh, this shows through, this through the uh, effectiveness of incorporating unconfirmed transactions in Bitcoin address clustering. The second question, how much uh, impact does our approach have? We measure the total impact of our approach on SOTA clustering heuristic by comparing the number of entities uh, in various clustering heuristics. Uh, our approach uh, significantly reduced the total, total number of entities by over uh, 20%. Uh, the reduction in the number of uh, entities can reflect the ability of our approach to reduce errors where address belonging to the uh, same entity are wrongly clustered into multi entities. Mm, the third question how much the individual contributions of the two proposed clustering heuristics? Uh, we analyze the individual uh, contributions by the uh, reduced number of entities. It shows that uh, dependency chain um, heuristic contributes significantly to the improvement. Uh, highlighting its effectiveness in identify addressing associations. The last question, uh, what pattern does the uh, 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 impact of our approach show across different uh, uh, plays? The impact of our approach shows a growing trade over time, indicating its enduring effect. Uh, the most significant uh, impact is, is observed in the current months with a notable enhancement in January 2023, mainly due to the emergency and the widespread uh, uh, adoption of uh, Bitcoin ordinal inscriptions. Next, I will use two simple examples to further uh, explain the role of uh, unconfirmed transactions. Uh, Bitcoin exchange address are uh, generally divided into uh, three categories, uh, code wallet, hot wallet, and user wallet. Uh, each one has its own responsibility. In, in, in this picture, the address, the address first uh, initiated a tran transaction. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, then this, uh, this, tra this address immediate, immediately uh, initial an another transactions with higher fee to replace the uh, first transactions. The purpose of both transactions uh, is that the funds are eventually tra transferred back to the BN exchange address, but the funds need to be tra transferred through multiplying hops. Uh, uh, from this example, we can find the analysis of uh, 
unconfirmed transactions can reveal BN's internal uh, risk control mechanisms uh, and help regulation, uh, regulators in verify disclosed uh, information and uh, identifying hidden uh, uh, found transfers at uh, exchanges. Uh, another tra uh, example is a dust attack against uh, real, uh, real addresses. Uh, a dust attack is, uh, uh, is an attack on a crypto wallet that sends a tiny amount of uh, uh, cryptocurrency known as the dust to that wallet in order to uncover the I identity of the owner. Uh, from, the uh, from the confirmed transaction, we can't uh, identify the true purpose behind the, uh, the, the address. Uh, from the unconfirmed transactions, uh, we can easily uh, identify that this, this address this address is one, uh, wants to carry out a dust attack. Uh, from the example, we can find that uh, anchor from transactions can be used to reveal uh, the true intentions of users and uh, to identify and understand, uh, understand malicious behavior uh, before it occurs. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for your attention. <laughs>